Hey guys, in this video, we are going to take a look at the official Android 9.5.1 UI update for our Galaxy S8 and the Galaxy S8 Plus. So without wasting more time, let's start. So guys, Samsung started pushing the Pi update since like end of February, but I updated it latest like 4 to 5 days ago. And you can see the one UI version 1.0, Android version 9. Now finally, my baseband has been changed. Like the last time I flashed the stock firmware was Oreo crap. And you can see kernel version 4.4.111 and we get the February 1, 2019 security pack. So guys, this is what people wait every time for a new Samsung major update. But no, this time, this is not the thing. It's the UI. It's the one UI which is attracting people to flash the latest Pi update on your Galaxy set. Like, in like Nougat, many people decided to stay on Nougat because Oreo is not that well for our battery. And also, there were no much changes. But in Pi, we have a lot of UI changes and those are really like well made. It's the one UI finally and we can use this device with one hand. Like everything Samsung has made possible in this update using one UI. But yeah, it's actually beneficial for one handed people also because some people may be disabled. I'm not gonna say disabled or something. But yeah, but if they are one handed, like many people uh, lose their hand in accidents and if they're gonna use this phone that's really well but yeah it's also great for normal people like us those who have full two hands and just want to get one hand busy with the phone yes this is the right update for them also because the battery life in this it's really awesome like just showing you these features and all is not gonna make sense like talking about performance battery life it's also really important so the battery life it's really important performance i didn't check pubg but normal usage is really well so now we are going to take a look at the features into display you can see we get a blue light filter as always but some new features like the night mode which is a great implementation by samsung has been done here you can see it changes the device into black and dark now black and dark because you can see this is black like it looks like a black and dark mix but you can see the like settings uh, title background uh, for that medium title background is dark and this one is black i don't know what combination it should be like full black and it may be a magic module has fixed it so yeah i will show you everything afterwards the routing and all steps uh, later but yeah this is how to uh, like get the dark mode like it's really easy going to display turn it on we have the night mode which is the dark mode obviously then we have wallpapers and themes, the normal lock screen stuff. We have the new always on display, like just a new clock. You can see this is a new clock. And also you can see the button uh, shape has been changed. Yeah, it works really flawlessly. Also fingerprint, iris scanner and everything works for extra recognition. Not to show that same, same stuff again. Face widgets, you can see we have weather, show always on display, today's schedule, alarm, music, everything. Getting back, uh, let's take a look at some awesome new features. Advanced features. Everything is same. Reduce animations, something which was really important just by one click, not going into developer options and reducing it. That's great. Video and answer, panic mode, all the same. Uh, and what I have to show you that, okay, face widgets are already, uh, clock style. So, into clock style, you can see. You can choose always on display clock styles you can see we have this now the font has been changed main thing is the font which has been changed by samsung not the old shit it's uh, like better and looks really casual this is the colors you can choose for aod and this one is like okay i don't use aod a lot but yeah was in the clock style for the lock screen we have same clocks so you can see yeah this gradient one also yeah it looks better but always like this because it's buy and it's new so yeah that's it Okay guys, sorry, like I just forgot to talk about the most used feature like people also use and now I'm also using the navigation bar. Sorry for that. So you can see uh, into navigation bar, we have the full screen gestures file here. As you can see the button order you can select. So if you choose this button order, this will go to back, this will go to home and this will open the recents. And if you choose the normal button order, which is this. This will go to the back, this will go to the home, and this will go to the recent. So, yeah, this is that easy. Now, guys, let's take a look at the camera. Like, let's see what has changed with one UI. Sorry, this is the selfie. So, guys, this is the camera, and you can see everything is there. Selective focus, pro mode, panorama, 
food mode and then on the right side we have video and super slow motion guys so super slow motion has been added i think it was since oreo like yeah it was maybe since oreo sorry for that then hyperlapse coming to this uh, uh selfie camera we can see we have this selective focus and also like guys just uh, uh, ignore this cover because this is my mom's phone i'm shooting with so sorry for that see so video photo everything we have and you can also change the ratio here so you can see we have the full screen the 1 to 1 16 to 9 your normal ratio so guys uh, that's it for the changes also we have bixby changed into one ui so i have already set up bixby setup is pretty like easy so you can see bixby home this is how it looks with the dark theme it looks really nice with the dark theme and yeah always love the night mode enabled because yeah it looks really well also not to show you guys just a quick look at this new uh, app so yeah not much have been changed but yeah it's just the they are one ui fied so it looks really nice and can be handled with one ui game launcher and all uh, yeah guys you can take a look at this all later on also but still as you can see, this is the Samsung Music, the new one. Oh, I have to do storage access. So, guys, this is it. Uh, the new one UI Samsung Music. And, yeah, that's it. Uh, that's it for this uh, short, uh, like, what you can say, uh, quick look or whatever look at this one UI Pi. And I installed it via Odin, downloaded from Sam Firm. So if you have not installed it still on your Galaxy Set or Galaxy Set Plus, just move it to the installation. So let's start without wasting any more time. And yes, for the installation, always you have to power off your device, and then we will boot into download mode for the ne for like the next instructions. So yeah, let's go. Okay, guys, now let's start with the installation. Of course, you will need a PC or laptop. So I'm using my Dell laptop. And you have to boot your Galaxy S8 even if it's on uh, Oreo. So yeah, let like make sure it is on Oreo because I was on Oreo crap, the one Samsung took back. So it is like a very old firmware and the first Oreo update got by Samsung Galaxy S8, which was called back and then again got. But yeah, let's just do it. So press the volume down, the big speed and the power button at the same time to boot your Galaxy S8 in download mode. Now just press continue, which is volume up. And you have to check here, you can see the FRP lock and my OEM lock both are off. So make sure this is off. Like it's not the case like FRP lock can be on. Like it doesn't matter for just in my case, I'm going to uh, install custom recovery and ROMs afterwards. Also, I'm using the official Samsung cable. So connect it with the PC and just keep your device. Uh, what the heck is this? I don't know why if it's properly not getting installed or I don't know why. Okay, so the cable is properly inserted. No more extra sounds. Okay, so this is the Odin which you have to use the latest one or else the new Samsung firmware files cannot be regretted or like it won't be getting flash it will always fail so you have to use this version 3.13 and i will always as always leave a link in the description so now you can see this is for the galaxy s8 these are the files now i will try to upload it to google drive if not you i will give you the direct link so you have to download from that updato.com or i will like just try to upload the firmware so first you have to oh shit i forgot what i clicked on okay it's bootloader so bootloader file then go for CP because the AP, the main system file is going to take a long, like a lot of time. CSC. So choose home CSC instead of CSC. Uh, CSC will wipe your previous data. Like if you're on Oreo and you have data on your phone, you have to choose home CSC, which will save your data with Pi. So it will be like the system update, which you do uh, via OTA. So just choose home CSC. The normal CSC file will wipe your data like a factory reset. And then choose AP. Now this AP file uh, takes a longer time. And also your Odin will like it will say not responding. So just don't get panic or get like really crazy. It will respond. So it's a big file. Like the new firmwares are really big. And you can see uh, 
can see if, if you just try to move this yeah, you can see it will say not responding so we'll just wait until this response like it will automatically do it's just uh, putting that firmware in that space so i'll just skip this part uh, yes i will skip this part so as you can see the firmware has been loaded so we'll just push the start button and the firmware loading for like the ap loading takes uh, like one or two minutes so please guys just wait for it and now you can see it has started the installing system and guys it won't fail even if it fails just force reboot to download mode using those buttons volume down bixby and again start this process like i am installing it the second time so guys, I'll just skip this process until it just like forward because it's like it takes a lot of time and not going to stretch the video. So let's skip the process. So guys, as you can see, the process is still running and it didn't fail for me. But like for some real, like real rare cases, it may fail for you. So if you are on custom ROMs, like if you're coming from custom ROM to the stock ROM, then you will need to erase everything. So go into options and there will be a NAND erase all option. So you need to check that or NAND erase option. You need to check that and then start it because that will remove all of your old custom ROM files and all shit and then install a fresh uh, uh, firmware on your device. So yeah, let's continue with it. And yeah, let me skip this to till the end. So guys, as you can see, the firmware is getting successfully installed and this is the end part. So like, just wanted to tell you guys that it won't fail. And yes, it's about to end any time. So we'll just wait for it to end. And on my device also, it is showing the bar is getting full at last. So, yep. And yes, guys, I didn't get any RMM unlock. So, sorry, RMM lock. So you can see it passed. Also, your device has been automatically booted so as it says pass you can just remove this cable it will say installing system update so if you are on like from oreo or any other uh, stock rom uh, like version uh, those updates any of the updates like old updates then it will just install the system update and your data will be safe your apps and all but if you are with uh, any custom ROM, you have to choose this option. So it's in the options, you can see I already told you NAND erase. So it will Android erase all of your data, all of your internal storage. So you have to backup if you are on any custom ROM. So backup your internal storage first, then go with the installation by pressing this NAND erase all and you will be really okay with the installation. So yeah, that's it guys for the installation. As you can see, it says erasing, but yeah, it won't erase if you are on like stock their rom and have installed a fresh install like without the nand erase but yeah it won't like clean it i think you guys get it what i'm saying but yes as you can see the device is booting and this is the boot animation your normal side bye so yeah that that things won't change so yes guys uh, that's it for the video if you guys really like the video press the like button uh, then the dislike button also the installation sorry the subscription button is here then subscribe and I will see you guys in the next video. And guys, as you can see, I was already on it. So you can see it has not cleared any of my apps and data and I don't have to uh, reset again. Like these are the apps if you want to take a look. So yeah, you can see everything. My data is safe. So yeah, guys, bye bye. And yes, TWRP installation root video. And also guys, Lineage OS 16 Pi video is coming soon. So wait for it. And bye bye. Yep.